it's time to have a conversation with Google. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Google's conversational voice search is now available on your desktop through the Chrome web browser. So you can ask Google a search question and it can speak back to you to find the answer. Google demonstrated the technology last week with how voice search is smart enough to even understand follow-up questions, leaving us all thinking, ooh, this is the Star Trek computer future we all want to live in. But don't get too excited there, Wesley, because they're still working out the bugs. There were times I got an error message. Follow-up questions don't seem to be working yet, and I have to keep clicking this allow button to give it permission to use the microphone for every question. Google should be fixing that because if I have to keep moving my mouse to click an allow button, it's just faster to click on the link and get the answer myself by reading it. There are some interesting gadgets coming out of the CTIA wireless show in Las Vegas this week, such as the Quick Set Kivo electronic door lock. You don't need to use your keys to unlock a door. All you need is to have your smartphone near you and touch the lock with your finger. It's similar to the idea of a keyless car entry when you have the key fob in your pocket. It pairs with your phone via Bluetooth, and you can designate what permissions to give other family members. It'll cost between $200 and $250 when it comes out this summer. Also, so at the wireless show, Walmart announced it's working on an app that will be smart enough to recommend what you should put on your shopping list based on what you normally buy, and you could scan the items as you put them in the cart for faster checkout. General Motors says it's working on adding apps for its vehicles in the second half of the year. Rather than let smartphones power the apps in a car, GM wants to get more apps built specifically for its cars. And Twitter users can now quickly sign up for an advertiser's offer or promotion inside of a tweet. Now a company can collect your name and email address through a tweet without you needing to fill out a long form, so signing up for something's faster. But only a few companies will be testing this for now. And here is a look at a gadget that we don't typically talk about here, a wired keyboard accessory for the iPad. Here at CNET, we review plenty of wireless accessories, but Logitech made this wired keyboard as an accessory for students. It was especially made for classrooms because if you can imagine an elementary school teacher trying to set up Bluetooth for 30 students, that's a lot of wasted setup time. And bonus, it's spill resistant. This keyboard will be $60 and it comes out in August, but if you need one to connect to the older iPad with a 30-pin dock, that version comes out in October. That's your tech news update. You can find more details at CNET.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.